What is up Guitar Legends? We have a really, really fun lesson today. This song only has two main parts to it, so let's dive straight in. You're gonna need the cap on fret five, so make sure you've got that in position first. Otherwise this song can be uh, quite tricky and you have to play bar chords, etc. If we have the cap on fret five, we can do open chords. So to begin with, we're gonna have this intro. <laughs> And this happens quite a lot throughout the song, so let's just quickly learn it. We're gonna have this F chord. Now some of you might rather play this as a bar chord, some of you can play a bar chord with the thumb in the bass. I tend to miss the A string. I cut off the A string by having the thumb kind of resting on it, or the third finger can be touching the A string, and you get this shape instead, right? So we have this, we slide it up two frets for G, and then we're gonna go to C major for our last chord. All right, now the rhythm is gonna be the same for the whole song. We have this down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. So just work on that. Okay, for this intro, we're gonna play F, All right, the only problem is we have to do this rhythm much faster. Okay, that's why it's quite tricky. But just start a little bit slower. Okay, I'll go a little bit slower throughout this lesson just so it's easy for you to play along. All right, so again, the intro we have F, G, C. So you notice my wrist comes up for F and G and then it drops slightly for C. And start off quiet and get it get louder on this little G note here like this. You hear that? So you kind of swell into it. Okay, now if you want to make the chord more bouncy, you can hear how I make that bouncy. Okay. Without the bounce, with the bounce. So you can see my left hand here, kind of bump, 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 bump. We have three squeezes. So we're essentially splitting the rhythm into three. We go down, release, down, up, release, up, down, release. Okay. Now that's quite tricky, so you don't have to release at all, just keep the chord hand in. And it still sounds good, all right? So that's the intro. Uh, we are gonna use that again, of course, later on. Now for this first chorus, we're gonna start on C. And we have this really cool effect here. We start on the bass note, and then we strum down, like that with an up at the bottom. You don't have to get this arpeggio effect, you can just go down, down, up, that's fine. Down, down, up. But I like to go. So I do bass, arpeggio, and up. And then to finish, you play the bass note again, and then the high notes. Right, so you have, you walk. Walk like an angel. Then we go to F. Talk like an angel. But I got one. G. All right, we're gonna finish with one hit on the G there. Okay, now you can add in some in between uh, palm mute strums, so you kind of bring the hand into the string for these in between ones. So we play. So you can hear I'm going down, down, back. Okay, so down, up, up down, down, back. So I bring the palm you in just before that final hit. Down, down, back. So I've added two downs in the middle there. Okay, you can even have the hand in for the ba whenever you just do the bass note. You can have the hand in so it's soft. Then we 
can do the same for F. For those of you that want to take your playing to the next level, make sure you sign up to my premium membership website. You'll gain access to all my backing tracks, all of my lessons, and I'll teach you how to improvise, solo, and play advanced chords. Enjoy the rest of your lesson, guys. So all together, just so you can hear how this comes in, we have the intro. <laughs> Okay, so to come into this, you can do that snare hit if you want. Ba -ba -ba. You can use fingernails or knuckles. And there's this, there's like a snare for this in there. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, so you have that as an option. You don't have to do that. You're the devil in disguise. So it goes one, two, three, ba -ba -ba. one, two, three, ba -ba -ba. one, two, three, ba -ba -ba. one, two, three, one. Two and three and one, two and three and. Okay, it's quite hard to time. Again, you don't have to do it. All right. Then we get into the fast part. And we're just going to swap between C and A minor. So the third finger is the only thing that is moving here. And the rhythm is still down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, down. Just like the intro. Right, it's the same thing. Okay, now if you want to, you can add this passing chord. It's sort of a... A G with B in the bass, but we can leave the first finger down. Okay, so it's kind of a, a sus chord, but it just adds this. And again, you don't have to do that. You can just play C, A minor. Okay. All right. Now the, the final thing we can do to the rhythm, if you want to get more advanced. You can hear this, this with the drums are playing, it's going So we can try and emphasize that beat with the strumming hand like this. All right, so essentially one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, four. It's on beats two and four, right? So all you do is you strum more firmly there. I almost have this, as I'm strumming, I kind of sway my hand. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I kind of do this slightly, just because that helps me uh, not get confused, because I know that I'm gonna be here on the snare here and here when I'm not. I'm exaggerating it here so you can see what I mean. Okay. Now again, you don't have to do this. You can just keep it simple. And just play C, A minor, right? So we're going to play C to A minor twice to finish the chorus, right? You're the devil in the sky. Oh yes you are. The devil in the sky. Ooh. Now we, we go into a verse, but we keep this intensity up, right? and then back round again. Okay, so we've almost learned the whole thing already, right? So if you look at the ordering, we're gonna have C for a while here. Then A minor. So it's twice as long on each chord for this little section here, right? But 
then C A minor F G C. So you, the intro is now tagged onto the end of the verse. All right, and that's what brings us into the chorus. Okay. So C for two, A minor for two. Then it's half time C A minor F G C. Right. Just like the intro. And there you have it guys, that is everything pretty much. So if you look at the structure, we had the intro, then we learned the chorus, we've just learned the verse, and then we just repeat it. We have the second chorus, a uh, second verse, and then we have a third chorus, and also a third verse, but do you realize that the guitar solo kind of happens over that um, third verse. The other thing to watch out for is how the song ends, right? So when we get to the, the end of that third verse, the, the guitar solo. You're the devil in disguise. Oh, yes, you are. We just go into the end, like sort of the last part of the chorus, right? So to clarify what I mean here, after the solo, we don't have no, we miss that. We actually go. You're the devil in the sky. Into a chord. You are devil in the sky. And it, it just fades out that way. Okay, well, if you want to, the way I end it, um, after a few times round, I still play. And that's how I like to end the song personally, but the actual recording just fades out, okay? So, the play along is coming up. The best thing you can do now is play with me. Don't forget, you can slow this down. It's in the YouTube settings. Anyone can do this. You slow it down to 75% of the speed, and then it's much easier. You get a much nicer kind of speed, and you can play along with me at a slower speed to begin with if you need to, just so you kind of get used to the muscle memory. And then once you've done that 10, 20 times, you can try and do it full speed, all right? If you found this lesson helpful in any way, please give it a like. Guys, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell icon too. All right, good luck with the play along and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.